I like all the different camera work and I notice you use different kinds of cameras so you've got like a more professional and more personal sort of view. I also liked the close-ups and the like zoom outs and stuff, that was quite clever. Um, also the way it likes in tune with the song and when the song like picks up and goes back, when the film, when the song picks up the film goes backwards, that was clever. Um, well, I'm not sure if like the plot was very clear, I didn't really like know what it was about and what like the message was I guess behind it, but I guess that's the genre you were going for. Uh, in terms of what I like about this film, I really like avant-garde film. I like things that are, are different and experimental, and particularly with short film, which I think is a medium where you can be really experimental. Um, it didn't bother me that there wasn't a coherent plot as such. I got the feeling it was kind of like a tone poem in, in music, or, or like a poem that you didn't quite understand exactly, but it was just lots and lots of sort of impressions of things happening, which I really, really enjoyed. Um, things I didn't enjoy about it, not a lot, I think you've edited it so that, because there's a potential with films like that to get quite boring, um, with it just being a series of images, it did, it did work, and the music anchored it really, really well as well. I think it definitely fits with the film, with the faces and stuff, and how it links to the start of the film. Um, I don't know, it's quite plain, but it's simple. I like the stars and how the faces are the uh, sound. The faces are the ca um, letters, um, and I like the stars as well, like the five stars and the quotes. That's clever. And how the text is different. To the um, the text for the quotes is different to the text here. Shows a difference. <laughs> and it definitely fits with the film, like with the faces. Um, also the text is the same on the film, like a typewriter sort of thing. Um, I really like the poster because it's a very conventional layout for that type of sort of portmanteau film as well. I've noticed a lot of films like that with a lot of different actors in them, they will feature those. I'm a little bit annoyed that I don't feature on the poster, but never mind. Um, I like your billing block, that's really effective. Um, I can see it was very difficult to achieve that effect actually, I can tell from that it would be very hard. Um, I like the glossing of Sonder underneath so that we know what it actually means because no one's got a clue. This could become a word that could pass into everyday English because of this film. Um, it should be great. Um, I love the recommendations there. Five stars, you can't go wrong there. It's still very conventional, it's very good. Um, yeah, the colour scheme is a bit different to the uh, poster in the film because of the blue. But I sort of like the setting and I like the text action. Um, I'm not sure what the red paper has to do with it, but the faces and the pictures, the images used to look at the film. Also, you don't. Oh, yeah, I just noticed that this part <laughs> Um. I like how the quotes are different texts as well to this text, but I think the font's quite boring. Could improve on that. Um, the links to the film, obviously, the images. So yeah, it fits in nicely. Okay, um, the review's quite interesting. This sort of cross-hatching effect there, I, I can't work out whether that's meant to be like a newsstand thing, or whether it's sliced through a window, or it's things broken up, but it's quite clever. It shows a fragmentation. Uh, there's a lovely picture of me there. Um, it is very conventional. I take it you've probably modelled it quite closely on existing examples. I like the way you've got the bold version and then a kind of faded out version on that side as well, which is really effective. The pull quotes there are good. Um, the use of screenshots from the film are good and would get people to want to see the film. Um, this is very clear, different colour, different layout, so that's good. I haven't read the full text yet, but um, it seems to be very uh, conventional. Yes, yes, it's good. Yes, yes, yes. 
yeah, there's something for everyone to love and cherish, and it's all packed into one lifetime. This is how to make a film personal. Nice ending there, and then the release date as well. Yeah, very conventional. Um, I think of the three, that's probably my least favourite, if I'm honest. Um, but it's still really well done, so, yeah. Uh, it's good that when you're trying to brand a film, you want to have a sort of consistent, coherent approach across all the different media. And it was quite good to see that the film, the poster very strongly relates to the message of the film, and then the article with the sort of cross-hatching and dividing it all up, showing the fragmentation, that really related quite closely to that. Because I've been rather annoyed recently to see a lot of film posters that have no relationship to the film. So I saw the poster for Joy, and it makes it look like a spy movie or something like that, and then I saw it because I don't know, it's too much better. I think if people went to see your film, they would be expecting a kind of avant-garde, portmanteau, strange film and they get exactly what they wanted.